students in term supply bill ensures that 12,000 new students starting school in Alberta in the fall will have the tools they need to get the best education possible. This money will also ensure that our students, whether they are in kindergarten, entering their senior year of high school, will have the stable support they deserve in the upcoming school year. We're still, uh, you know, in sort of in the interim, not sure how the budget is going to look in the fall, but we appreciate the fact that the government is trying to give us some stability in the meantime. Well, we're certainly pleased with the minister's uh, announcement yesterday. It was really what we'd been looking for during the election was uh, a reversal of some of the things that the previous government had committed to. Uh, we had real concerns in Red Deer Catholic about not funding uh, growth of new students. We are a growing division, so that was a significant potential hole in our budget uh, come September. So we're certainly happy that, that that change has been formalized and we, we look forward to uh, actually approving our budget next week at our board meeting. Funding will recover all regular operations, including funding for school capital projects to maintain the teachers' agreement and the commitment made in May to reverse grant cuts to then fully fund enrollment. Our government has been very clear that protecting and supporting our schools is a key investment in our families and in all of our futures. We think we've been pretty darn efficient with the money that we've been receiving. Uh, didn't have a lot of room to make cuts. We had some real critical programs that we wanted to make sure continued. Uh, one of the other components yesterday that was announced was uh, a continuation of the capital commitments, which is for a growing division real critical for us. We've got St. Joseph's. Uh, last week we had our sod turning and we're looking forward to doing uh, St. Francis starting this fall and St. Gregory the Great in Black Falls. So we still need some formal commitment on the St. Gregory the Great School, uh, but we are moving forward with St. Francis and St. Joseph. Certainly, once again, we're, we're glad that they have recognized that we have to move forward with, with our budgets and with our uh, providing services to, to families and to kids. So we're thankful and uh, looking forward to seeing what the, the budget will hold in the fall.